How do energy storage systems work? We can't program the wind to blow when we need it, nor can we program sunlight. So the key is to store energy for the energy transformation. The idea is to store the surplus generated by renewables when there is low demand on the grid, so that it can be used when demand is high. There are different solutions. The most traditional is the hydroelectric power plant, which harnesses the power of water when the sun and wind are not enough by opening the floodgates to feed its turbines and thus produce electricity according to the peak loads. But the great leap forward is battery storage systems. This is, for example, how it works in a solar plant with electrical storage. From the photovoltaic panels, the energy first passes through power converters that change the current from direct current to alternating current, which is necessary for it to flow through the grid. To ensure that not a single watt is lost, transformer substation equipment intervenes by raising the voltage to reduce losses. Thanks to the work of several transformer substations, the energy arrives at the substation where part of it continues on its way to the grid and the other part is sent to large battery containers. But in order for it to be stored, it is first necessary to lower its voltage and change the current. In other words, it has to go back through transformer substations, whose technology is essential for the integration of renewables. When demand rises, this energy is sent back to the transformer substations to increase its voltage. Power is stored, and from there to the substation, from where it is fed into the grid, to be distributed to the consumption points. It is estimated that the deployment of energy storage will triple every year. In about 20 years, we will go from the current 10 gigawatts of installed capacity to more than 1,100 gigawatts, making the energy transition and a more sustainable world possible.